Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the dual boot feature in the Galaxy Wonder. It's a new feature that most of the phones doesn't have. Uh, that means two Android OS in one phone. Mm, so I'm going to clear as it possible. So this is my Galaxy Wonder. Uh, it has the CM9 UL ROM by the Arco 68 uh, and it has a custom kernel by the Hertzky. It works with the custom or custom and stock so it's not a big deal. Uh, here it is. So it can be done by anything. So not, it's not a problem. The next thing you should have is uh, the dual boot APK for, uh, that can be downloaded from XDA and we should open it and here you can see three options partitions tools switch so we have to select the partitions for partitioning the memory card so that the secondary ROM can be installed on it so I'm clicking on partitions here you can see my memory card is 8 GB so it adjusts its store is uh, partitions according to that so I, I am changing it you can also change the partition sizes so I don't need this much so I'm reducing it oh, here it is changing it to 1 GB okay and increase the storage space there you can see the two sizes have matched so I have fully utilized my memory card and when you click create partitions it will tell us to manually unmount external SD card so we have to go to settings uh, storage and here the last option unmount SD card click on it and it says ok now again go back to the APK software and then again click partition create partitions and yes well it takes a little bit much of time so after it finishes uh, we have to get the secondary ROM or copy it from the uh, we have to get the copy from the PC and uh, paste it in the memory card so after the partitions are finished we have to do that so I will be back after it finishes and yes guys after finishing the partitioning the memory card and copying necessary uh, ROM file for secondary flashing we are back so again click on the dual boot now the partitions are already made next we have to select tools uh, here are four options. This is the latest zip by EDA and HON 3D. So let's make prepare flashable zip. So we have to direct them to the zip. Here it is, my secondary ROM. Just click on it. It's verifying. This. after verifying it asks us to the flash options I'm selecting both and clicking yes so it just jumps to the recovery and starts to flash after preparing the zip file so let me finish the uh, flashing and get back to you so hi guys so after the secondary room has been flashed uh, the phone will reboot uh, boot into the primary room which is in my case the CM9 so this is an important step in the dual boot so let's get doing it so uh, we have flashed the secondary room so the next step is going to the internal storage uh, there you can see a folder called dual boot here 
dual boot here so I clicked upon you can see a ROM to zip here it's nothing just uh, the ROM to prepare for flashing the this is not required anymore so I am deleting it and okay now we have to create a folder named 4.2.2 because I flashed a jelly bean ROM as the secondary so I'm creating a folder called 4.2.2 okay oh sorry it's not a file you should create a folder so new folder 4.2.2 that's it now we have to um, copy the boot to image this is modified by me uh, Madrid, Madrid kernel modified by me you can also download the default one from the EDA so I'm just uh, cutting it and again going to the dual boot folder 4.2.2 and clicking a pacing if you guys need to change your kernel in future uh, you can always modify it and put it in here after deleting this one so everything is done accordingly now it's time for the dual boot feature bagging it and I'll click on the dual boot uh, here it is switch and I switches it just switch to other room it's not necessary so switching to secondary room yes let us see what happens I'm sorry. oh this is our device name there it is the new ROM has been opened as this is the first boot of my secondary ROM uh, I shall finish the setup so please wait after I finishing the setup and then we will continue so after finishing the setup the new ROM has been booted so the secondary ROM has finished its flashing and uh, booted so this is pretty much so as we go here and see in the internal storage uh, the dual boot folder storage you can see another boot image has been uh, made here this is our primary ROM's boot image and here our secondary anyway uh, you can change this in future according to my tutorial that I will be post later so you can try it anyway uh, that's pretty much and you can see the settings here about four here you can see uh, my jelly bean row and the kernel is uh, matrix that we ha that I had modified earlier. You can all guys can also try and I am and I will upload this one down in the description. Upload, uh, so that's it. Mm. You can also try different rooms uh, like two jelly beans, one jelly bean and one Kit Kat room uh, like that but I don't know about the 4.3 uh, 4.4 because I have not uh, tested it so that's pretty much and for switching to the primary ROM you have to first install the dual boot APK so I'm going to my memory card storage memory card here uh, we have to install it and it has been done so 
you have to give it the root axis so here we can see the partition is disabled it's because that we are on the memory card so it cannot dictate any memory card so for switching to the primary ROM we just have to click here switch to primary ROM yes and you can see the magic so guys uh, you should actually try this because this is a great feature that most of the phones doesn't have we can make our friends shame by this feature make them into their phone is nothing so you should you guys should try it it's there it has been loaded to the primary so you can easily switch between rooms and you guys can try any one by keeping one as the daily driver so thanks for watching and i'm sorry for my bad quality bad video quality and the bad english because I'm not a professional, I just want I just want you guys to have a knowledge about the dual boot feature. So once again thanks for watching and happy testing. Bye.